All right, hello everyone. We're in Tuesday, week four, Condor X2. Got a titanium division matchup between Kavalka and Ekum Ekum. My name is Tic Tac Foe. Be your commentator for this one. And we're about to get ready. Kavalka sitting on a record of 40 and 53. Best win 807, average 1029. And Ekum just under 500 with a record of 10 and 11. Best win 1006, average 1149. So numbers looking in Kavalka's favor, but have to see what the seed holds first. And our racers are ready. Countdown's on. Ekum's. Zoom is wrong because I can see a pink line, but it's like one pixel, so I'm sure it's fine. And we're off. Looks like early blood shop on one one, and it's pretty good blood shop. You got your electric dagger in there. And Ekum's gonna have to reset. Also, a fireball spell right next to that, too. This is a pretty great 1 1. You got your weapon, you got a fireball spell. You almost kind of pick up and go. And maybe just grab stuff along the way. It's definitely one of these seeds where you can do that. Ekum does make it through the blood shop the second time around. Taking a tactical monkey hug before entering 1-2. There's another crack wall at the exit of 1-2. And it's a glass shop. There is a su super secret shop up top, though. We're going to kill uh, Doust for this. If anything, we get a shovel and an armor upgrade. And two extra hearts for 10 gold. What a steal. And Ekum passes that by. Going right down to 1-3. Sees the red dragon. We might be dragging, dragging it up to this lock shop, and it's a really good lock shop. Obsidian armor, rapier, and a weapon charm, strength charm. I he might even switch to this over the electric dagger. Yeah, and that's what Ekum's gonna do. Wonder if Freddy's still alive. There's always a chance he can uh, jump on spikes. Looks like he's staying in the shadows there. Balls Victor and Deep Blues for Kavalka grabbing a red chest that's slightly blue and purple chest with a bomb spell in there. Today on Art 101, talk about the primary and secondary colors. Two of them featured as our racing teams. Red and blue. Ring of War pickup for Kavalka eventually. Looks like Ekum's gonna get it as well. Much better combination with Ekum's. And Ekum doing a little extra search in here. Feel like you just go. You got two spells, you got a ring, you got armor. Let's get, let's get a PB. Luck Charm would be a good addition to each racer. Vulka's gonna go shopping again. Find some hard greaves. And there's a trapdoor take for Ekum down into the zone two mosh pit for the unholy moly. Very simple fight with the rapier. You just get into that first row of skeletons. Ooh, fireball for style. It's the flawless victory. Kavalka just has to zap everything. <laughs> like, like I was saying in zone one, these weapons are very strong. And there's a spell swap. The purple chest gonna get rid of the bomb spell for a heal spell. Oh, Kavalka getting rid of the fireball spell though. I think that may be a misplay. Fireball spell's way more versatile than the bomb spell. 
but they might be feeling the pressure of the I gotta go fast now feeling you know that creeps its way into every racer's mind around zone three maybe at the beginning of the race and it looks like Ekum's starting to do that into 3-3 three, three already. A Shrine of Darkness for Kavalka. Gonna jump into a Minotaur there and use that bomb spell. But down to one heart after taking a hit. And build's not looking great. In fact, it doesn't have a shovel. Yeah, you can't dig that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> looks like Kavalka didn't realize that until just now. But gets bailed in the shop. A Tanium shovel in there. Ekum down to half a heart. Having uh, conga problems here. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, the king is going to go back to the stairs. That's hot coals. Half damage. Half heart, I mean, for Ekum. Going to get a stair heal before headed into zone four. Not looking the safest, so let's see how we can manage our low health problems. Looking for uh, gargoyles, crates. Perhaps the shop. It's gonna give a little time for Kavalka to catch up here, who had Boots of Pain, looks like, and switched off to Lead Boots. Ekum can just take their time clearing these rooms. Oh, jump from that wallpaper. Okay, <laughs> could've got that. Oh, Kavalka's down! Charged Minotaur in the dark. Very dangerous. They make no noise. They're stealthy minotaurs. So now Ekum really needs to take their time and I was just about to <laughs> complete that sentence. They can clear out a room by room, charge up their heal spell. And if they really want to, they can tap that peace shrine. That will give them full health. But they'll be forced to switch weapons. Looks like they're just gonna go for the ring of peace over the war. And a blast tome here. And there's your heavy plate. That's the other thing that happens when your opponent goes down. You either find a potion or you find heavy plate. Now it's your job to just try to stay alive. Yeah, legal plate even. Keeping Freddy alive, which is something to always consider when you're doing slow play. And we're back to full health. Vulca resetting the seed. Gonna switch to uh, the build that Ekum went for in this doused shop on 1 3. Pretty strong. Pretty strong shop, this one. There's Ekum uh, enacting them slow play procedures. Checking the shop. See if there's anything that'll help this build out. I mean, goo boots would be nice. Ballet shoes would be nice, even. Straight up the middle for Kavalka on Deep Blues. Flawless victory. Maybe go for Red Chest. You know there's a bomb spell in there. You want to switch for heal spell later. Maybe you don't know. Death Metal, your zone 4 boss. Ekum dealing with these Warlocks. Not very well. Got hit by one of them. It gets the boss down and into 5 1. Trying for a food shop there, but it's never the food shop. Oh, big cadence. Stomping through the hallway. This build's looking much better for Kavalka. Handling a lot of these rooms very quickly and efficiently. Oh, fear scroll. I suppose you can't really use that if you want your blood drum. Nice fireball opening there. Get an early hit on that dragon. And false victory for Kavalka on Decimal. Quite the run back here. Three minutes to zone three. But. Pretty, uh, pretty big gap to fill. Catch up to Ekum. Looks like they got revenge on that Darkness Minotaur. Diagonal Slimes are still a thing, though.
One more hallway for Ekum. We'll see the first dead ringer of the fight has a quick kill in that blood drum. And uh, paired with Snowbro now, makes it that much simpler to execute. Yeah, I'm opening the wrong door there. Not having a torch, it's a little more difficult to discern where the exit is. Looks like bottom right. But we're gonna open everything. Take them enemies out. Here it is, Dead Ringer fight. Valka into 4 1 by the time Ekum reaches Dead Ringer. Gonna stack some freezes there, make it extra safe, and gets the flawless victory. Red chest check. Holy water. No thanks. Dad gets a flail for the Necker Dancer fight, so this is a pretty safe fight. And looks like we'll be headed towards the next seed after six hits on the Necker Dancer. Kabalka going down to a warlock. Trying to do a telemonk. Right into a hit. Right there you have it. Ekum taking the first loot. That's the that's the stop button. I want the loot button. There you go. Now we get to play. Do my replays work? Nope. That's Monster Racer. What are you doing, Monster Racer? You got some wind spell shenanigans. Going through zone four. You got a zap dagger, and I was probably highlighting the other racer because that didn't look interesting at all. <laughs> On to our next seed coming up shortly here. This is always a match of three, so we'll get two more races. As our racers take a small breather in between. Collect themselves, drink some water. few days away from Grudge Door Week. It's always an exciting time in Condor where you get to use the Condor Discord to race anything and everything. I'm very excited to see what challenges are put up. And then the commentaries about them are sometimes just as fun. Countdown's on, here we go. Oh, my timer, please. Um, Splunky 2 has been thrown around. Do some Splunky 2, maybe all shortcuts plus Tmot racing. Uh, Decathlon has been whispered behind corners and doors. Maybe Curious Expedition 2, if we can figure out a, uh, a racing goal. It's like we had a 1-1 blood shop and uh, in a barrel here, some cool glasses. So gold cat plus one damage and your blood drum. I'd like to maybe try a BPM race, see what that's like. I don't think you can see those runs though. I think that's our first luck charm of this match. Ekum grabbing it with a small milk. And buying some purple hearts before carrying on. I do remember Pojo. 
good time. Hey, there's another luck charm for Kavalka. We switch their headgear to the headphones, so plus two damage as long as we're keeping the beat. And we're into the zone one boss first for Ekum. It's gonna be for Tissimol. Gets the flawless victory, checking purple chest. Not really rewarded for it. Kavalka finds a transmute on one, two. Gonna go for a shovel. It's one more chance and gonna end up on the pickaxe. Feels like a loss. Oh, one more chance, actually. There it is. Shovel of courage. Grabbing some extra gold on the outside before headed down. Shriner over here for Ekum. Gonna bomb it for Ring of War. So three damage cat with knockback. And then heart transplant so we can have that blood drum get to the exit. How did we clear that and then do it? I'm sure there was a reason. Kavalka checking purple chest there. Maybe didn't do a screen peek. See that it was not great. Then a pulse spell collected by Ekum on 2-2. Two, two. Doing a lot of clearing on this level. Uh, when you spawn in, you go the opposite direction that the hallways are generated. It's gonna lead you to your exit. You see Kavalka right away going up. Oh, there was a, con or a conjurer there. That Echo missed too. Three purple hearts now for Echo. Kavalka full clearing zone two as well. Seeing all the shiny objects and uh, going to pick them up. Taking some hits along the way, down to one heart. And Ekum getting a hit in the Deep Blues fight too, so no flawless victory, and now we're on purple hearts. Blood weapon would be all right right about now. Crown of Thorns, Ring of Might, gonna switch to both of those and pick up a blood shovel. So we have some healing now. Still on two damage. And Kavalka finds a uh, peace shrine. Maybe just tap that and go for the ring, or uh, for the dagger, and that's what we do. It's a jewel dagger. So dishing out seven damage now. But there is a titanium rapier right next to that, so we're gonna switch to that. And Ekum's gonna push forward into three, two. There's a pain shrine next to a bar barrel. Here. <laughs> and we can bomb that. That's not where you bomb it. Ekum just bombed themselves. Uh, what are you doing? But there's cheese here. That's cool. <laughs> We're just gonna take the trap door and forget about this level. Go down to 3-3. Three, three. We're gonna find a food shop here. Ekum looks like they're not playing confidently right now. That last bomb and all this searching for health. And yeah, they did the uh, the blood drum and then the blood dick, which you always noise, notice after you've done it. And it's like, well, we're in there anyway. <laughs> And Ekum's into your zone three boss. It's Coral Riff. Kavalka on to five two, sees that pain shop. And clap a combination there. Really scared both racers, it seemed like. Both of them taking hits in that same area. And there goes the blood drum for Kavalka. One of the cheese didn't pack the pick up the blood drum. It's a lot of like misplays here. 
<laughs> Maybe they glanced over to Ekum's side and saw they're in zone four. It's like, oh shoot, I gotta go. There's another cheese for Ekum, but jumping into a, the bomb blast, so not really gaining much out of it. Bring a gold pick up for Kavalka on the purple chest, and we'll make their way down to zone four. And Kavalka's build is looking a bit stronger. Did get Telemonkeyed back to the entrance there. Also has Grenade Charm. Not bad. Spending a lot of time trying to get this extra heart container, though. More cheese for Ekum. No more purple hearts. All red. More cheese for Kavalka. All the crypt cheese today. This is quite a swarm coming in on Kavalka, though. Careful we're not getting a uh, dude here. Looks like we should be all right. Nice. Yeah, just stand on the stairs. <laughs> Wait for them to open. Here's the exit room for Ekum. Looks like they're trying to get this pixie kiss. Did end up getting it, then a good pulse. The mini boss. And they're done with zone four into death metal. Blood drum kill for ease and satisfaction. Not getting it though. Getting hit by another warlock in this fight. And looking real, real dirty that fight. <laughs> But does make it into zone five, that's what counts. Valka just behind into the death metal fight. Grenades throwing, yeah, that'll make it easy. Still has three remaining. And a ring of war grab before headed into zone five. One level behind Ekum now. But does have that shovel, does have grenades. Armor's helping out a ton with this swarm. Get on the conduit and attack. We are losing a bit of health here, though. That comes down with 5-2. Headed to 5-3's hallway. Looks like a straight dig down to the exit. And Gavalka really using that shovel well here. And then the pulse, well done. Into 5-3. If they were screen watching, they know it's straight down. Dead Ringer for Ekum has a quick kill with the Blood Drum, but it's a bit scary to use at this health. So it's a right side spawn instead. Well, an easy left side scoop. It's not easy. We're dead. Ah! Luck is going to do it, though. That's what it's supposed to look like. And Kavalka's looking to tie this up now. Just keeping the pressure on. Ekum making a lot of mistakes in this run, and they all just caught up during that dead ringer fight. Dancer at half health. Welcome, making sure this is a safe fight. Keeping Dad out of it for the most part. And there's your last hit. Kavalka tying this up one to one. Race time of 10:40. GGs. We'll see who can get that second loot in the victory. And we'll see how this goes. We'll be commentating a few more races today. 
Actually, we got uh, an Evtet showcase coming up. Taking on Lake Hope, who I think just joined this season, or uh, this week, which is pretty hype. Getting those late entries in. And then Evtet will be taking on Tuffalo. Every week is the season, that's true. It looks like our racers are readying up. Seeds are entered in. We'll get started. We're taking a little break here. Oh, Kavalka's in chat. Ban Kavalka. How do I ban? Ban for 12 days. That's the maximum. Nope, 13 is the maximum. Purge. I purged them. <laughs> oh, the power. The power! Careful, chat. You might be next. Up. Countdowns on GLHF's Death Metal songs done. Conga's coming in. Drop that eighth beat. And we're off. Early blood shop. It's not the greatest. Beckham's gonna go for it though. It's fair enough to go for it this early. You can just reset and bomb in. And looks like we're gonna get it after this attempt. And we'll carry on. I would blood drum that barrel open. Barrels have good stuff in them, like, jeez! Peckham's gonna do it. We'll get back to full health. Potion right away on one, two. Easy grab for both racers. Mm, that's a dangerous dig there, Kavalka, yeah! That's not guaranteed to go through. We're gonna have to walk all the way around. Here's a dangerous dragon. Ekum's gonna take it down. Get a luck charm. No shop check there for Ekum on one three. Yeah, I was gonna say it's right there. And it's pretty good. You can bomb blood drum kill for this. Well done. And we will be heavy Ekum. Ooh, Kavalka might miss it. Yeah, it looks like Kavalka's not gonna get this heavy plate. 
Mosh pit problems for Ekin there, taking a hit from uh, a Ghost Minotaur trap. But we'll get through to the Kanga fight. Blood Drum to get into phase two. Oh, Kavalka has no bomb yet. That's because they didn't do the throw dagger kill in the blood shop. They found the extra bomb on the level and used that. Pretty terrible uh, black chest after the Kanga fight. Let's see if Kavalka goes purple. They will. Fireball spell. There's a grab. Uh, do you use your potion to check if that's a tier 3 wall? Nope, you wait for the uh, the dragon to dig it out. Not bad. And it is a food shop. Right on time, too, for Ekum. Kavalka's gonna see it, too. Just a few beats behind. They're gonna check the shop here. Nothing really going in there. Torch is good. They're gonna bring the dragon up for uh, the shop steal. Which takes a bit of extra time. But you get those items for free. And you're leaving the blood drum behind again! Unless you're doing like a big gluttony play here, but this takes forever. While Ekum's continuing through the seed into zone two, taking on Deep Blues and defeating the entire chess set. It's the flawless victory and uh, probably wants to get off Bold Faithful. No, I'm gonna stay on it and it'll turn into Bold Faithful. That Courage Ring. Got that move attack we all want. Move attack slide. And they'll be cutting through zone three. Kavalka finding a ring of regen. Uh before getting into this deep loose fight. That'll work real well with the fireball spell they just used to take out all those pawns. Oh, take that trap door, Ekum. It's right there. Go to the stairs, it looks like. Maybe he wants to check this crack wall. It is a conjurer. You want a shovel? Grab boots of pain and left. Okay. Probably looking for goo boots. There's the trapdoor take. Wreck him down into your zone three mosh pit. It's gonna be death metal. Is it death metal each time? No, death metal is zone four in the last two seeds. Because there were warlocks. Here's a shovel for Kavalka. Which one are we gonna get? Blood shovel. And you're gonna be done with it grabbing a bomb spell before headed into Zone four. Blood jump kill for Kavalka on death metal. And starting to catch up here a little bit. I like the use of uh, the blood shovel. Make things a bit quicker. Really good stun on that exploding gargoyle too. With the hit and then the fireball. Keeping away from that damage. Another cracked wall at the beginning of 4-2. Ekum's gonna skip it though. And head towards the exit. Kavalka being bullied by these blade masters. There you go. One one hit for good luck at the end there, I guess. And a blast down pickup for Ekum. And halfway through 4-2. Looks like Kavaka's gonna miss that. Bit unfortunate. Good blast, Homius Rackham there. Save the potion if you can. And there it goes. Yeah, fireballs for Kavalka. Yeah, you gotta start using your health as a resource. Really well done at the exit there. I like it.
And Kavalka with the blood drum kill on Fortissimal. Ekum taking a few hits here. Just going to eat them and head down into zone five. It's going to be a sprint to the exit. There's a trapdoor that Kavalka spies at Torture Foresight. Ekum's going to miss that. But we'll find the exit. Purging through that fireball. Feels good. And still maintains a beat or two lead. Really clean exit there for Ekum. Using that courage well. Kavalka trying to make their way towards another trapdoor. Does get to it. But Ekum's starting to pull away here. As a quick kill on Dead Ringer, assuming we can keep our health up for the Blood Drum. He'll be inside. Has Blast Helm for emergencies. It's a left side spawn. Looks like we are going to use Blood Drum. Careful, these riders. We got it. Don't got it. Ping Ponger. Kavalka's doing the same. Just Blood Drum again. <laughs> You took a hit anyway, and you're down to half heart. Kavalka taking over the lead now. The cleaner dead ringer. Now Ekum needs to bomb and can't um, blood drum the stage. So early first hit for Kavalka. And who's been practicing their lures? We're pretty tied up here. Oh, there's a missed teleport for Ekum, but we're still 2-2. Two two. Missed one for Kavalka, and Ekum's gonna get this one on the way to the stairs. Looks like Ekum's got the second loot. Kavalka having a bit of problems wrangling that final hit in. GG is. Let's check out this Kavalka exit on zone four. Assuming it's not Monster Racer, it's not. Use that health, fireball, fireball. Yeah and fireballing this coffin from downtown. Really good use. 